To get started, we're talking about a crispy smoked pork belly, tossed in a homemade buffalo sauce, maybe a little bit of a jalapeno buttermilk dressing, maybe a little blue cheese. I have no idea how this video is gonna turn out. It's experimenting one-on-one -on -one for me. I know I'm excited. Let's get started. We have half a pork belly on the Flat Top King. If you guys are interested, we just did two fantastic recipes. We did a smoked pork belly fried rice, and we followed that up with a twice cooked pork. This is half of the pork belly that we didn't use. I saved it for here. So this is the idea. I've never done skin on pork belly. Um, every time I've done, I've always taken the skin off. I'm pretty interested to see how it turns out. I've been playing around with a couple sauces, gearing up for that uh, wing competition. So what better way to try it? Instead of wings, let's try it with pork belly. So simple enough as it sounds, we're gonna cut right through the skin, keep the skin on and cut it in cubes. I think it's gonna add a little bit more flavor and that's what we're going for. So about bite size. So let's say about an inch. The idea is we're gonna smoke them and then I'm gonna sear these off in a cast iron skillet with some um, oil to try to poof up the skin and make it crispy and then toss it. And the reason is I kind of feel like that extra crunch mimics the idea of a crispy chicken wing. Maybe we get the best of both worlds, we'll see. There's your slab, and we're just gonna cut these slabs into bite-sized pieces, something like that. Football is right around the corner. I know you guys are anxious to find some awesome um, appetizer ideas, so hopefully this will fit in the mix. We're just gonna line them up just like that. I filled up my tray, I had three strips left, and I thought, let's try them out whole. Maybe we can minimize cutting all these. It's just a test. We're just gonna lightly salt the skin while it's smoking to draw out some of that moisture. I don't want to over season these. I'm actually not seasoning the, the uh, pork belly at all because I feel like the buffalo sauce is going to be so uh, flavorful to begin with. Then you top it off with another buttermilk and all that stuff. So, all right, we're rocking the Traeger day, roughly around 260 degrees. I've seen a lot of information anywhere from 250 to 275. I don't think it's going to matter. The most important thing is the internal temp. And of course we're rocking those smoking pecan pellets today those three slabs the crispy pork belly is just rocking and rolling we're gonna make a little sauce so this is the uh i don't know what do you want to call it? like a jalapeno buttermilk something like that if you guys have followed in the past we have a little something something here i'm just gonna leave it at that Leave it at that. You guys can use ranch powder, whatever you want to use. This is top secret. We're not ready to unveil it yet. We'll get there. All right, so mayonnaise, basically like half and half. Let's see. Something like that. About an equal part sour cream. We might go just a little bit heavy on the sour cream. Something like that. About a tablespoon of jalapeno juice and just a little bit of half and half to thin it out. Give that a mix. And just like that, it is done. We're gonna set that to the side, let all those flavors come together, and now we're gonna start working on our buffalo sauce. Roughly 200 degrees is our temperature. So most of them are hitting that, oh, it's smoking. Most of them are hitting that temp. So I'm just gonna close it down and then just lower this while we get ready for some other things. So maybe, yeah, 195, because that means it just basically stays warm at this time. Okay. Let's make our homemade buffalo sauce. It's extremely easy. I got a whole bottle of Valentina, one of my favorites. You do you. Vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, garlic. Just want to give this a mix, bring it up to a boil, let it simmer just for a few minutes, incorporate all those flavors, add just a couple knobs of cold butter, stir it together, and then repeat the process once this butter melted, right up to a simmer, and then add more knobs. Right up to a simmer, add more knobs. You just don't want to boil this so the butter separates. Cast iron skillet coming up to temp. We're just gonna add a little oil to cover the bottom. All right, the little nuggets are done. And I'm gonna pull these off because I'm just gonna use the same cooling rack to drain 
after we get done frying. Just doing a couple test rounds before we actually started filming. And just to be careful, it does splatter. I've got all my protective gear on. I've got a splatter shield. We mean business. So in all seriousness, it's exactly what I thought. There's a lot of moisture in these, even though it's fat rendering and it can pop really bad on you. So we're just protecting ourselves, looking like a moron, something I do on a daily basis. It's more of a joke, but it is more just to show you got to be careful. So if we get a splatter on screen, hopefully we'll be able to show you, but uh, it does happen. So you are dealing with bacon inside of oil. So what I'm trying to say is just be careful. Do a couple at a time so you can manage them. I'm putting these skin side down. I've cooked this one. You can see how great that skin, oh, see that splatter? That's why you do it, folks. See how crispy that skin is? That's exactly what I wanted. That right there is absolute perfection. So, so far it's come out. I haven't tried one. I'm waiting for this bad boy to cool down. It's still pretty hot. So it just gives you that texture vibe. You know, we like eat a wing and like some people like naked, some people like uh, breaded. So it's kind of like a cross between the two. It's got a little crunch, a little meat. Should be good. And here we go. The whole batch is done. You can see we got some very, very nice crisping up. Um, if I had to do again, the first mistake, I don't feel like a mistake, just learning curve. I'd probably only cook them maybe about 190 because I do feel like in the fat, when the skin is frying, they kind of probably bump up in temp. Um, I had them going anywhere like 205, 207, something like that because I really wanted that fat to render before we fried it. Learning curve. Uh, we kept three long just in case. Is it easier to do it in pieces or easier to do it in sections? You can hear that crunch. You know, I don't know what the right answer is. So either way, I think the skin gets crispy. You might avoid overcooking it just a little bit because it's a you know a bigger piece of meat than a single. Let's try it. Are they too hot? No. Mm. I hear that crunch. Mm -hmm. You can be able to mm -hmm. eat and film at the same time. Mm -hmm. Where there's a will, there's a way. That's right. So this is the idea. Now you can do this with like barbecue sauces or whatever, it's honey barbecue, um, Asian chili, whatever you want to do. This was just an idea we had. We had to make a buffalo sauce to begin with. All right, we got that secret sauce. Just give that kind of a drizzle. I'm gonna add a couple blue cheese crumbles just for that tang. Obviously it's optional. Just like I tell my kids, proof that I ate some greenery today. Somehow, some way. Doesn't look half bad, I must say. I'm telling you, you take this to the tailgate or have the boys over, the girls over, you name it. Chow down on these puppies. I'm all about it. The crispiness, the fattiness. What do you think? Is that a one biter? <laughs> yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Give me a little smallest one. Find me a baby one. Mine. When you try to make them all the same size, honey. I know. Your mouth is bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? Mm. It's something you would expect, but you wouldn't mm. expect. I mean, it's got all the crazy things in your mouth. It's got the the fattiness, the crunchiness, the meatiness, the spiciness, the creaminess. I mean, that is a lot going on. Mm. You know what that's called? Mm. A mouthful. Mm. Mm. Hit mm. that right there with a little sauce. Like I said, you can do this in other like variations, like Asian. I do think 
that it'd be worth the time to salt overnight the skin to dry it out just a little bit. I think it'd get a little bit more crispy. I do think I could perfect it a little bit more, but overall for my first time, seven and a half to eight out of 10. Like, I mean, most people aren't gonna realize. Yeah, that's good. The, the skin really crisped up the way I thought it would. The flavor is really good. Like you really get the pork flavor. I gotta be honest with you. You know, if, if Tom is a problem, I don't think there's any difference between this and the small pieces. So if you wanna go that route, you can. I think it's easier to fry. Um, you can get, it, it's just less pieces to worry about. So. Mm, I really like the blue cheese crumbles on there. Mm. The little bit of like creaminess and tang with the fat. Mm. <laughs> I know, give me another one. Mmm. 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 Thanks for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Okay, give me another one. <laughs> Game day appetizers <laughs> are here. I need them cut a little smaller for me, though. <laughs> Honey, you can fit four of those in your mouth easily. Yeah, right. Mmm. <laughs> mmm.